Hello everyone. Welcome. We're in week three. Playing my match against Duck. Should be a pretty interesting match, I think. I th I'm feeling fairly confident going into it. Um, again, uh, all of my uh, stream overlay stuff, I'm still out of town, so all my stream overlay stuff is still um, a work in progress. Some of the, um, the old templates are not with me, so bear with me if things are a little bit rough. Draw my headset, no major mic. Hopefully the mic sounds okay. And all that's doing just fine. So while we're in here waiting for Duck, here we go. We've got their decks. And I'll do a quick run through on all of them. Um, now I'm pretty sure I know what my first band's going to be. I'll do a quick run through the decks. Um, so we have Algorile, the one who has the bolt hole. Um, that's this deck, leave it on that freeze frame. We've got Almington, the Regulator of Sand Park, which I think is pretty interesting. A uh, pretty scary deck with the Compost Horse specs and all the different uh, effects in here. We have the Heroin Trough Tusk, Davenport. This looks like pretty good. They love finishing blow, and I must say, all of their finishing blows seem to have a damage enhancement on them. Not bad. So we've got Inga, Lord Quick Draw Ray, which is this one. We have Villain View, the Rebel of Beakers, um, which also looks pretty good. Three to expect an Amber and an MM -M 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 deck, not bad. Not bad at all. Double Thing Tooth Cavern, definitely something to look out for. Um, then we have Das Croft Pocket. Double Cronus, 7 drop pips. Uh, 16 creatures. Very fast. 10 pips. Um, yeah, looks pretty good. Auto Encoder deck. Um, yeah, seems pretty interesting. I think... Um, Um, Duck says they've banned, so I'll, I'll get that in there. Uh, I think the deck I'll be banning is Inga, Lord, Quickdraw, Ray. Um, so I'm sure everyone can probably guess why. Um, I haven't, I didn't really have a chance to test this time, but the double Infernus with a double Exhum, um, really got R in here, um, with the Hawk, Poltergeist, Customs Office, and then stuff like the double Brens and double Infernus with the Exhums is pretty nasty. Um, now the, in the South Mode 2, well, that's a pretty good disruption. The problem, the, one of the things with the Brands is that there's not a lot of targeted C. Um, they've got stuff like the Blood Shard Imp. Basically, the things that can pop it are Blood Shard Imp, Harbinger Doom, and Gleeful Mayhem. They only really have the Harbinger Doom, um, to pop more than one Brands, or like, you know, they have nothing to pop the, anything on that, on the thing, the Lungfuse Mines don't do it. Um... So it's not really as scary. Um, I'm kind of worried about this being a paper tiger, but I think just the double, just the recurable in furnaces there is fairly nasty as well as some really good um, things to, to zoom out, like the Kirby's, um, fidgets. So I think that's the sort of thing we're just gonna just gonna make sure that can't go away from us. They banned Margaret. Uh, I think that's very reasonable. Let's look at Inga out of there. Um. So here, they don't have a super high creature count in any of their decks. Uh, the biggest ones being Almington and Algorile. Uh, it be interesting to see what they save here. I think that they do. They also don't generally have a ton of um, creature control. So it's definitely one of the things that we can look at doing is... I don't think Basilisk is going to take a ban. Um, they do generally have good R, kind of. Um, so one of the things you can look at doing is saving Adaptive Face. Um, so Adaptive Face or Farhood, I imagine probably Farhood or Judge is going to get banned coming up. Now, they don't have a, they don't have a lot of C, so Basilisk is probably on their radar as well. Um, but I think here I want to save Adaptive Face. This is, is a genuine, generally good matchup into most of their decks. Um, they saved Almington. Yeah, okay, so this is the one that certainly is, is certainly a problem. Um, we've saved our C. 
Um, so I wouldn't mind. I kind of want to go into Almington um, with something like Adaptiface or Basilisk or uh, Farhood. Um, probably something like Samir would probably do okay too. I'm concerned about the C with Samir, but any of the rest is, I think, fine. Um, it has some good protection too, right? It's got the... I just got the scooter really for that, so I think that's okay. Um, they're kind of indexing on low C. So here, the next one that I would like to remove, I think, is probably um, this is good. Like this deck is good. I don't think it deserves a ban. Um, I think it's either going to be Villeneuve or the Das Craft Pocket. Um, this kind of feels, and it kind of sucks because like, Heavy Storbus isn't really in here. So, <clears throat> I don't, kind of feels like they, I don't know how they generate Amber, but they can generate big boards with their creatures. I don't, I don't really know. Um, this one doesn't look super threatening. Um, this one does, this one looks rather annoying. Um, and the key cheat here with a punk, the double fang tooth is really annoying. Um, Agarwal is a really interesting playstyle, and nine damage trips is a ton. Um, Kevin Valjerico, but I think getting rid of something like, um, this one is going to serve us the best, especially because the double fang tooth. Um, really can warp a game state. So I'll ban uh, that. So they banned Farhood, okay. So not, not super unexpected. Um, and then, so what do they have left? So we they banned Margaret and Farhood, obviously looking to get rid of some of our bigger creature decks. Um, Farhood very threatening in its own right. So now we're looking at something like um, Heroin, looking at Craft Pocket, Heroin, Agarile and Almington. Um, so only one of these decks has actually good C. This is one that has the R with a double reclaimed. Um, I sort of feel like they're going to bring heroin because the decks that are here are Adaptiface, Samir, and Basilisk. And I think against this, I think we're probably better off getting something like um, Basilisk here, game one. Which I think is where we should be going. But there is a good nod to be made towards something like Samir. Um... Just to help do that. I don't know. Because what, like, what happens if they play something like Agarile or something like that? So I think we will try. We'll try Basilisk. So they went Almington. Okay, so basically it, it depends on how much they can get value out of their red alert um, and how well we can use our board. So this should be a pretty interesting game. I think, there we go, they've got a game already. 
and I think I want baskets. Just make sure that's that is what I end up picking. Yeah. And to go. No, I'm good to go. This should be a this should be a interesting game. It's I don't know quite how I feel. I think I like my matchup generally. Um Yeah, I think I like my matchup generally into here. Um we're going to want to be looking for we just want to be aggressively using our things. This is a three. This is a two, two, three. I think this is worth a mulligan to try and get a faster start. Yeah, and that commune is definitely a worthwhile first start. Uh, so we'll call in tamed. We'll hit him with a commune. Banger of a start. Very happy to see that. Um, they don't. They don't have a ton of mutants on their side. So the Torado is going to be pretty um, one-sided. Same with the Trimble. I mean, a first-star commune is, is incredible. So it's sort of, you know, definitely one of the cards you know I'm logging into. Okay, they play Tribute. Um, here I'm... I'm okay with playing Untamed here, playing the Trimble and that down. Um, and Samir, not Samir, uh, Basilisk's C is not a, not a joke. Okay, we will steal one here if we go that. To Archive Fandangle. Interesting. Kingdom's Blaster is, is uh, actually a really cool form of new, uh, removal to get around um, stuff like Ghost Form. That was a pretty fun interaction that I did see. And Disruption Field and Trimble. Okay. Uh, we'll call Logos. We will take the archives here. Um, first, we see what we draw. So nothing. Uh, we play sloppy lab work. We're gonna archive. How much armor do we have? So candle unit has armor. They have a lot of the archons too. I think I'd rather. I guess yeah. I think we we probably what we do is we archive the glory as attendant. Um, Archive the Glorian as a tendon and we'll discard the Pandemonium. We'll get that done. And here I would be... Okay, this remote access. Eddie. And they go to check. Yeah, I think we can just I think we can pretty happily call on teamed here. I will take our I will happily take our archives. Um do I wanna draw first? I don't think it really matters. But we definitely want to get this down, capturing onto the Trimble. We'll get this down. We'll get that down. Play this. We will. You know what I do like? Any damage will then kill the Kinkin, which is probably okay. Um. 
Doesn't get me a draw here, but I think we're happier to fight there with Skirmish. Go there, and then we'll capture one onto the Flint. Red alert time. They red alert, that's okay too. Um, Two damage to Glorian as attendant. Okay. Stealth mode. Um. So I can go to I can move to one, two, three, one, two, three. Um, by this, this won't get me to four, which is really annoying. Um, I'm gonna have to call in tamed, see what we get here. Right there, right there. And I'll reap. See what this gets us. I should put that on the fend angle. Well, I'm not playing well. Okay, so there's there's both fend angles dead. Who are they exalting though? Ludo? Okay, so so we'll be going this. So we kill here. So we got two implosions. Yeah. So we got two implosions. So we hit here. We can tax for one. We can stop them exactly at one. By this, we implode that. Implode that. We can implode that. Um, I want to mark of distance into logos probably because I wonder what I want. What do I want to implode? The problem is that it could be worth just marking here. Implosion, 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 mark. I have a decent ass screen left. Um. So we can implosion, implosion, implosion. I would like to mark one of them though. 
I wonder if the Stereo Centurion is just okay being alive. They only have one Ludo. First things first is we Waking Nightmare. Put this down on the left. Um, and we'll... We'll implode this, and we'll implode that. Um, one, two, three, four, five. And they've got, sorry, they've got one, two, six. 7, 8, 9, 10. So I got two Saurian cards. Star Alliance, they've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So marking them to logos here is probably pretty okay. Because basically, do I mark them into logos and leave the Theros in train for later? How many more Tantras do they have? They just have the one auxiliary. They have a Scutum though, still. So I guess I can just blow up the Cinder too. I kind of need to blow up my Trimble. So blow up the Trimble. Here we'll hit the Ludo. And I'll get taxed at seven, and then we mark them into mark them into logos. And they don't have graft. There you have two keys. Oh. I forge red here. All right. Well, here we can Savage Clash, and their Theros and Train is their strongest power, and our Niffle Ape is our lowest. Um. So it's probably worth, so what we can do is we can Song of the Wild, Reap with the Nephilate, choose their Brood on Auxiliary um, to keep, everything else dies, we get this down, that's probably okay. All Untamed, we say no. Play Song of the Wild, we Reap. Yeah, they draw a card, that's okay. Actually, you know what, I actually didn't need to give them a card there. I didn't give him a card at all. Okay. Then we pick here and we pick here. We play the scooter on the right. Okay. Oh, and hopefully they can't generate too much amber out of hand. Um, but. Oh, this kind of feels like it's a. Gonna be, it's going to be very sketchy. It's all maintained. Uh, I don't really, can't really get to win though. Nothing here gets me the win. I can get the Snoret. Hope for the pick a rune off of it, but. Uh, 
Uh, if only I had a capture pip in here. Um. Oh, hey, Dinobot. Welcome in. That's really annoying. But we'll call this. Then we'll survive this turn. Get that down. We did draw the pick a rune, which is kind of nice. Um. Man, if only the Forge compiler had been a little bit earlier, this could have been a good game. I didn't play great though. Call Lungos. This, uh, look at this Logos train rolling. Yeah, if only we had seen something like, something like that, you know, like a turn, like, you know, like somewhere in the middle of the game. GG. But, you know, I'll take a two key loss there, but that is, uh, that's frustrating, not gonna lie. That's all moved out of the way. So that's our save deck. Well, I'm not really worried about the rest. I think we'll just go after paste here. Agarel might be able to give it trouble, but I don't think anything else does. Um, Samir and Try to refine the rest. Um, could be all right. Yeah, darn indeed. But we just we never really we never really had a chance to set up a board like that. Um, so it's all right. It is okay. Um, I definitely think this deck is, um, this deck is a problem, maybe, maybe not. This sort of feels like, um, this deck kind of feels like it needs to pop off, uh, maybe not needs to pop off, but like it sort of needs to, um, get cards in the right order to really actually achieve this 27 expected amber. Um, and the reclaims aren't going to get much value against adaptive face either they're gonna hit the down air bobbles and they're not gonna get anything off of it so not super worried into that one um and it has low c and a adaptive face will just if it if if it gets this board going it will murder it and most of its c is um damage you know it's, it's damage based removal um there's a good amount of there's a good amount of armor um something like the zenzi i would like to log in probably for the zenzi um, which this deck should have a hard time dealing with. Its main, you know, its non-damage based removal is tempting offer and lost in the woods and finishing blow. Uh, then you know stuff like that is there's some armor in there. There's wards, so I'm, I'm not too concerned about it. I think. Uh, so this is going to be Das Croft Pocket, which I think Adaptive Ace should do very well into. 
Um... Oh, they're just saying they didn't like this matchup. Yeah, it's it, it, it's not a good matchup. Basically, if this is a if this happened, I think it's pretty devastating for them. Um, just needed to happen earlier. Um, try and loosen up here for this next game. Um, should be good. Oh, this is a decent hand. This is a decent hand. I can get Tognath off the bat and then do a big board. Um, you know, I don't even hate this. I'm not, this isn't Zenzi, but I think this is good enough to keep. Um, and this will give this this will give us some board response with the standardized testing. But if they Really play out, just to play anything. That's fine. I'm happy to get a Kronos off the board. So here we're pretty happy with going Logos. Um, getting that off. See we hit with a draw. Great. And then we will discard this Infomorph. But you know, we're looking pretty golden now. Uh, this early Zenzi here is huge. And with not many ways of the, for them to, to for them to properly deal with it here, um, except for like if they draw the dead dreadbone right now, that's basically how they deal with it. Other than that, we should have a pretty pretty banger turn here. But we'll get to reek for three, uh, put the daughter and the sacrobot down, and then we can get that on. Sounds pretty good. And I actually wouldn't mind at all discarding the Council Primus for the um, Blast in the past either. Okay. Seven drop pips is, uh, is pretty concerning. We only archive two off there. Let me just check. Let me just check this. So one off that. And there's one, two, extraneous and logos, okay? Oh god, so bright. So but I think we're pretty happy still to go logos. Um we still go to six here. Um I don't want to finish and blow this. Do we just let them archive? I guess I see what the um, see what the logic hits. Okay. See what the eclectic angry hits. <laughs> okay. Um. Do I want to trade here? Do I care? They have an effort for some principle, right? No, they don't care. Do I care about them archiving, or do I just want everyone to get three? I think I don't care. So I think we discard this to draw a card. Okay. Yeah, early Zen Z is really big. <sighs> yeah, I'm very happy with this. I'll be right back.
There we go. Let's see if everything is okay. I'm actually feeling my laptop right now, to be perfectly honest. Um, but first things first is we'll definitely give a reminder here for logos. Uh, OBS has disconnected. Cool. Reconnection successful. Okay, cool. Um. Great, left at the glares. Um, first things first is be a reminder for logos. I think we can happily we can mark them into logos. I don't want to. I actually would like to keep this though. Um, so I guess you play that. Um, yeah. So I guess we play that. We play this. They don't have any amber to capture. <laughs> they don't have any amber to capture. Um, we play you. So we, yeah, we implode here. And I guess we kill here. Um, shouldn't have done that. But I guess we can mark them back into Saurian, yeah. All right, that's fine. So you mark them into Saurian. Mark a log with that. We go to seven. And I think maybe that's okay. No, I didn't leave it. It's my my OBS cut out. They go off here. They get they get gal tops. Okay. Great. That's really, really good for me. Um, wait, I think we just call, I think we just call logos. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That should be okay. Um, put that down. That down, it's one, two on either side, and then you can put down another two. Maybe we can discard this. So we have a, we have a hand size of nine, which we're pretty happy about. Okay, free markets for three amber. Because a heart standard. Smite here. Pretty cool. So we forge blue here. Uh, this is a great time to heat in a second tent because oh, that won't kill that. So I think we, what we do is we hit this. No, because I don't need that one. Okay, so what we can do. So what we can do, let me think of just thinking. Hmm. 
because I like fast forwarded. So we can play fast. Blast in the past is here. No, blast in the past is still in the. So this deals five. So that'll kill fast. Or it'll do. I need four damage. That's not gonna work. So I think I. Like, I kind of feel like I need to Axiom here specifically to kill Lord Golgotha, because that will be a problem. And then we can ward... I guess we just ward our Sacrobot. Do I care about our Sacrobot? Not really. I kind of want to use my Saurian next turn. It's good to capture body, though. Maybe we do this. Oh, we can order Strix, I guess. Maybe that's better. So we can call Saurian. Don't take our archives. This creature on the right. Capture that'll exalt steel. Axiom of Grisk. We ward here. Um. Play the Faust down. We hit done. This done, hit done. We do a we ping of damage, doesn't actually matter. Ping of damage here. Blade is a content. We get that down. That down. Hit. Done. Hidden is a content. We stop to to find an creature. We can go and we'll just exalt here. And then we've got a really good Saurian board here to use. And their big board clear is gone. Doesn't even matter actually. Because everything is on that anyways. The Golgotha is gone. The Dreadbone Decimus can come down and kill her Faust, but it doesn't really matter. Anything, any of our Saurian that kill, we will just get back with Blast in the Past. GG. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. That was a good win. That made up for the last one, last loss. That was a 3 to 0. That is great for the key difference. Woo. Okay. That feels good. I do apologize to my opponent for not being more chatty. I just feel uh, just uh, feeling a little out of it. Trotto didn't even have to come in. Um, yeah, it was a brutal, brutal game. That grim reminder for all the logos was really, 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 really big. That was really big. Um, and here, so that was Doth, Doth, Doth's craft bucket, right? So here we're going against Heroin, Tusk Dravenport, Agarile. I'd be pretty annoyed if they get an early Val Jericho against him. Um, something like um
So, okay. So I think did what I wanted to do. Oh. This Cephos will be annoying for some year. Yeah, that's fair. He's saying that basically they said that uh, they should have picked a different deck because they thought they might play this for this game and this deck wasn't a good matchup. I agree. Um, I think that was. I think this would have been a worse matchup, personally. So I think it's. Um, don't simply like they, they don't. They didn't really have good options left. Uh, their only good deck was Heroin into that one. And so now for this last game, we're looking at either. Looking at either picking Samir. Uh, Samir or Judge, and they're kind of probably gonna play this one. I'm just gonna play Judge. Not what I expected. Nothing crazy. And then we can hope for... Oh, hope for getting that in. You know, I'm pretty happy seeing Mobius scroll out really early. It means they're not gonna get it with the with the um This is really good actually. Dan, this is actually really good. Okay, I'll keep. I uh, really hope for some good archives here. Um, yeah, that's fine. Call logos. We'll see what we hit off the top. Those are okay. Um, Shadow is still one. I guess it's an okay. I think it's sort of an okay. Discard Zap. Good Morris. I wonder if it's worth hitting with the. So I think we can actually call on team tier. Call me wild, but I'm gonna shuffle back our deep our which the dawn and our deep water ground. So we're gonna hit these. That doesn't have anything. We're gonna shuffle these back. Ah, Riku, welcome. And then I will be going to get to some water. That's kind of rude. I don't lie.
I just have it clean by nature, so there are some, I'm not like that worried. It's not like they have the, uh, anything else. So I think we can. Book gets a lot less value off of uh, not having ley lines out, but I think we just go for it. Get the book down. Knowledge of power. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. Put that down, put that down. Take this over there. Get you. Attach it here. Get you. Attach it there. Um, yeah. We'll take all of those. Doesn't really matter what this is. Yeah. I sort of doubt that the Kip, the Data Forge here, is an actual win con. So I think we just we just go for it. Maybe it is though. So we can get we get three off this. Do I want to go to eight? Going to eight seems mildly relevant. Um. So. Other option is I archive this and this. Basically, my options are I can either archive two of these. That's you know what it's it's probably worth it. Put that on the right here, and we get amber. Hopefully, that's worth it. Double Amber Enhanced Mushroom Review? I've seen that before. That doesn't get reclaimed, for sure. With this little Starlines left in deck, though, I'm kind of tempted to go Starlines here and... Book. But that's really greedy. I don't really know if I have a better option, necessarily, though. Um... Is it worth it just fuck? I don't want to waste this thing on I know we got one, two, three, four, five. So we can just kill that right out. You know what? I'm gonna risk it. He say no. Call me a madman and I am. Let's see, let's go one, two, three. Four. Oh, whoops. Book. And here we will actually just fight that. Never punished. Never punished. To be fair, our odds are very good. Oh, wow. <laughs> That is fine by me. Fine by me. Easy game, book of birth. Exactly. I also don't mind. I don't mind the book getting purged here at all. Um. Okay. Is that okay? 
Can we just go Star Alliance? We get one, two, one, two, three, four. Is that good enough to kill? We don't even kill that. Uh, come on. Oh. Didn't want to click that. So you got archives in here. Don't need to kill that though. I kind of want to just cycle the untamed. I don't want to. We'll see. Okay, first we do this. Hit that. Okay, there's a UA, so I am not dumping this. Come on, give me my frog. There's Will Jericho. They put it on the right side of the Anthony. Okay. Man, is the fact I wonder if what is she? What is that? So I get this. That is an extra amber, that is three extra amber. Can I forge off data forge on this? I don't think so. So first we hit here. Capture into the steel heart. Play that. Do that. We need to play laugh. Oh, that's not what I thought that was. Oops, I meant to click the belt to that. Six. Oh, was right. Thank the Lord. Yeah, I just need them to not do much. If they don't win off Kichi here, I think we win. Finishing blows already gone. Bone thing only steals one. That's okay.
Wait, is that a shadow as well, Bounty? Oh. Got it, Bounty. I gotcha. I don't believe they have any taxing. Hey. Okay. Yeah, we just call untamed. We reap here. Let me play this on the right. Let me do whatever I want. GG. Got there. <laughs> sitting on that. Sitting on that. That was so worthwhile sitting on it. Oh, that is a 3-2 win there. Whew. Thank you, Judge. Never let my faith down. Let's go! <sighs> my poor heart. A good game, though. Happy with that. Took another win. Okay, we are five and three so far in the season. No, five and four so far in the season. So a little bad. No, we're batting a little bit over uh, fifty percent. Very happy. Very happy with that. Man, if we got no one here though, wait, right? we have um, thing on the key frog. The key frog in the hand looks like we've got a tax for four off of logos. So. Yeah, very fun. You. You as well. Okay. Good. Good. And I will port this. Ah. <sighs> Awesome. So here we go. Here's a splash screen of what that looks like. <sighs> Boss, loss, win-win. That 3-0 there is really nice. Uh, put this in the NKFL results. Let's see. Get a proper mattress lock going. This is Bronze Gamma. Bronze Gamma of Murph. Versus Duck. Ooh, man. That feels really good, though. I'm really happy with that. 2-3... 3-0, and that is a 2-1, my friends. A 2-1. Oh, 
thank you all for coming out. Thank you everyone for watching. I, I guess I don't have my usual setup, so my apologies if. Oh, also thank you, thank you, Dinobot, for shouting you out on the NKFL thing. I didn't see that, but thank you very much. As I said, this is this is a little bit rougher. Um, it's not at all my usual setup, um, but you know, obviously, um, what I will be doing is. I will be editing this a little bit more, putting some, putting in some background music, doing a little bit of that. If you haven't checked out already, um, Dinobot has absolute great videos out um, for their NKFL coverage. That's YouTube. That's e that is YouTube.com forward slash Dinobot three 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 three. Highly recommend that. Go check it out. Absolutely. You can catch me on my YouTube as well, which I think I have it here as an exclamation mark YouTube. I don't know. Maybe not. But I am I am uh, forward slash youtube.com forward slash at fudge 117 there. Um, but yeah, thank you everyone so much for coming out. Thank you for watching. Uh, Dinobot's great. Dinobot really is great. Catch the streams, catch the videos. They're they're putting out amazing content. So thank you much everyone. And uh, yeah, I'll just give it a pop up pop over real quick for the viewers at home over to ducks. Uh, band screen and yeah we will uh, I'll catch you all next time peace everyone